Welcome back into another episode of Committed. I'm your host, Jake Lobrack. Uh, the show where we interview the incoming class of 2024 and find out why they chose Newman University to, con- to continue their educational path. Today, we have Ali Stipa from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Welcome to the show, Ali. Hi, thank you for having me. Absolutely, my pleasure. So to start off, just uh, tell us where you're from, um, you know, with your hometown, what it's like being uh, in the midst of a pandemic over in Philadelphia, and tell me where you went to high school. So yeah, like you said, I'm from Philly, and I go to Girard Academic Music Program in South Philly, and um, yeah, I go there for singing, and I took up cello there, and with the pandemic, it's been really hard. Like, I just had my prom yesterday, but I couldn't really do anything because it was canceled. So I just dressed up and danced in my living room. <laughs> oh, there you go. Rolling with the punches, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you're going to your high school and you, you sing and you play the cello. Tell me about that. Well, I originally went for just singing. And then in late sophomore year, I was just going through like a really rough time in my life. And I was just like, you know, I want to start something new. And my friend had been playing for a long time and she really liked the teacher. And I was just like, yeah, I'll play. It doesn't seem that hard. It is. But um, (laughs) yeah, I'm not terrible at it anymore. But I'm still have like, I still have a lot to learn. Sure. And when did your when did your like passion for music kind of begin? Um, that's a funny question, because I don't really have a passion for it. Honestly, I just kind of did cello, like I said, to get myself out of a bad time. And it's two blocks away from my house, my school. And it's a really good public school. So that's mainly why I went, not because of my gigantic love for music. <laughs> sure, sure. So let's transition. Let's pivot over to Newman now. You're, you're coming to Newman and you're intending to be a nursing major. Tell me what drove that interest in nursing. Well, I, from when I was a little girl, I always loved like the health field and I wanted to be a vet for a really long time, like 10 years. And then I realized that you can't save all of them. And that absolutely broke me. So I was like, all right, I can't do that. And I wanted to be a, um, an EMT. And I talked to a few people who I knew were EMTs and they're like, don't do it. You don't make any money really. Like for as much work that you put into it, you don't make enough money for it. They're like, do nursing, do nursing. And so I looked more into the, that career and I fell in love with it. So it's the connections and the, the building connections through your network. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then your, your ultimate ultimately drove you to to look at nursing right and tell me how did you find out about Newman well I had went with my boyfriend who was a year older than me to just visit like it was still early for me because I was just entering my junior year but I wanted to just go and see things and see how college worked and the first one we actually went to was Newman and the first time I went there I hated it to be honest I hated it just because I had given like somebody gave gave me false information about the nursing program they said you had to take this really big gigantic test right after freshman year when in reality the NCLEX test is senior year and I didn't I didn't like that at all and so I looked at other options but then my counselor brought it up again in the beginning of my senior year and was like I think it's a really good fit for you you know you would definitely get in and I was like okay I'll apply (laughs) and then I applied and I revisited and I loved it and then I had talked to a few nursing students there and they're like I don't know who told you that but that is not true. (laughs) So did you ever think that you know from your first visit hating Newman at first and then kind of giving it that second shot to now being a committed student attending in the fall do you ever think that that storyline would play out? I didn't, honestly. I really thought, like, I had my heart set on Widener. I really thought I was going to go there, but they're incredibly pricey, and they still gave me tuition, but, I mean, they gave me um, scholarships for the tuition, but it was still not enough. Well, Widener's an excellent school, but um, I might be a little biased. I'm happy to have you at Newman. (laughs) We're happy (laughs) to have you at Newman, Um, and so you talked about your first visit on campus. You hated it, What Mm. kind of changed in uh, your second visit or maybe your third visit, ultimately to your guidance counselor kind of impacting that, but how did that storyline change? Definitely talking to the nursing students at Newman and just, you know, reassuring me that whatever that student before had told me just wasn't true. And, um, and also seeing just how much of a family Newman seems like they are and how all the teachers don't look at you as a number, they look at you as a person and they know stuff about your life. And I really like that. 
And the class ratio is a 14 to 1 approximation. Did that speak out to you when considering Newman? It definitely did, especially since the school I go to is super tiny. My graduating class is only 66 kids. So it would be really hard for me to say go to a school like Penn State where it's like, you know, huge and it would be a huge adjustment for me. Certainly. And it's, that would be like a culture shock almost for you because yeah. you're going from such a smaller school. And then with so many colleges near and far, you know, you, you talk about maybe Penn State or Widener. How did Newman ultimately pop out to you? Obviously, we, we talked about your guidance counselor. We talked about your tours. But in the end, Newman's the one that stands alone. And mm -hmm. can, how did that come about, I guess? And you kind of touched on it briefly, but maybe expand on it a little bit more if you could, please. Yeah, sure. So I also really like the neighborhood of Aston. And I felt really safe there, you know, like I said with Weiner, that's not in the best neighborhood. And that was really scary for me, especially being, you know, like a young woman and I would have to go off campus by myself for something. So I really didn't like that. Um, and yeah, I fell in love with the little town of Aston. And um, I also, like I said, I like how small everything is there. And I liked the dorm life too, which, and they also seem like they have a lot to offer for students, like, you know, Newman is what you make of it. And I really want to try to make those four years the best years of my life. So. And as a sophomore, I can totally attest that Newman is definitely what you make, make of it. Mm -hmm. um, it, it. You know, if you're willing to put in the time and you want to get involved, they give you so many different platforms, which is so unique to Newman. Mm -hmm. And you, you talked about the small town of Aston and how that just kind of appealed to you. You're from Philadelphia, but we're also minutes away from New Jersey and Delaware. Does that centralized location like give you like um I, I want to phrase it correctly, maybe like motivation to like did that also stand out to you because you can go literally anywhere you want within a fifteen minute drive? It did because I love my city, I love Philly, but I don't want to stay here forever. There's a lot of crime rising, and I just don't want to you know raise my future family here, so I was also talking to nursing professors when i um when I visited and they explain how they do clinicals all over especially in um like in Christiana and stuff like that and I really like that and I am actually considering moving to Delaware once I graduate because of you know all the connections Newman has with um, Christiana and Delaware is just so cute to me I think <laughs> <laughs> yeah we have students all over at the clinicals you know we have students at CHOP uh, Crozier um, all these different hospitals and that's the hands-on experience that Newman offers and is that something that stood out to you in your decision making is the ability that these clinicals are going to prepare you not for the classes but for your career absolutely especially since they have the like robots that you can test on that was like crucial for me like I wasn't even going to apply to schools that didn't have that because I think it's really important for young nursing students to be able to make mistakes and to learn from those mistakes but to not you know risk somebody's life with that mistake so rather to do it on robots was really important to me and that sums up sums up the nursing program beautifully because we want you to you know, to make those mistakes while you're in college and not on an individual, but on the robot or, you know, so you can learn in college. And that's the whole point of it. Mm -hmm. And students who, who partake in the nursing program, it's a very popular major at Newman. And 88% of students are employed within a, a year of graduation. Does that give you a sort of like reassurance that you're on the right track? Or maybe Newman has a program that is going to have you excel in what you, you're passionate about? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm always being told by, you know, other people who have been nurses for many years or who have just became nurses from graduating recently. They're always like nursing is a career that will always be in demand no matter what year it is, what's going on in the world. Like think about it now. They're one of the most essential workers in this pandemic right now. So. Yeah, being essential uh, is the definition of a nurse and, you know, the, the medical field right now. How does that impact you? Does that give you like some sort of anxiety or motivation knowing that you're in a couple of years, you're going to be in that field on the front lines? I mean, it gives me anxiety, but at the same time, it's really exciting, if that makes sense. And I personally don't want to be an ER nurse or like, you know, right there, I really want to be a labor and delivery nurse. It's still definitely hard because you have to 
you know, be with that mother and she can't even have like, say a loved one with her and you have to support her through that emotionally. So that takes a toll on you, just like other frontline nurses. But um, I just will definitely try and keep my safety just as important as the patient's safety. And one of the coolest things about the nursing program, and like you were just saying, is that like you're dealing with you like nurses have such compassion and they're very they have a skill of knowing the severity of an illness or uh, a, a, a disease but they deliver it in such a creative craft are you looking forward not delivering bad news but being able to be that person standing right next to a patient and being that comfort support when when a loved one may not be able to be there yeah absolutely i would i would feel honored to honestly be that person for them and it's just so important. I've been in situations where, you know, nurses were my biggest supporter and I'm so grateful for that. And before we kind of wrap things up here, you talked about how you're, we're kind of pulling this full circle. You talked about how you're, you're from a, a smaller school district and your school didn't have as many uh, opportunities to, to start your anatomy classes or, you know, some of your your science classes that you'll experience at Newman for the nursing major, and you kind of developed this passion on your own. Can you speak a little bit more about how that kind of came about and what you're most looking forward to? Well, like I said, I'd always been in, um, interested in health sciences, and then I had found apps on my phone where you can just teach yourself a bunch of different topics, and I really enjoyed learning, and then I started making my own quizlets online for anatomy and just looking up YouTube classes and it sounds really nerdy as I'm saying it out loud, <laughs> but it's just what I enjoy, I guess. And I'm really excited to, you know, learn hands-on once I go into college. And some of the best learning happens outside the classroom. <laughs> right. So it, it may so sound nerdy in your opinion, but it's so wise of you because you're, you're making a career out of it. And one final thought, Big, big picture question here. You're only a, uh, a senior in high school, graduating now. Where do you see yourself in four years? Where, what's the dream job, the dream clinical? The dream job would be a labor and delivery nurse at a really successful hospital. And then once I get a lot of experience as just a nurse, I want to go back to school and get my DNP and become a nursing professor. Awesome. Well, I cannot wait to see you down the road uh, fulfilling all what you just said, you know, going back to school, being a nursing professor. And I, I can't wait for your future to, to unfold at Newman. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. And I can't wait to meet you in the fall because, you yeah, know, doing this, doing this online is cool and all, but I can't wait to welcome you in person to Newman University in the fall of uh, 2020. <laughs> Great. Thanks so much for joining us on another episode of Committed. Ali Stipa from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm Jake Lobrecht saying so long. And if you're watching out there, you want to be on the next episode of Committed, reach out to Newman Media on Instagram. Uh, Newman Media, no space, no caps, no underscore. And send us a message. We'll get you on the show. I'm Jake Lobrecht. Ali Stipa signing off saying so long. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.